feels so good to be back out here on the property. It's Sunday, March 6th, 2022. I'm gonna do some shed hunting today. First, first time seriously looking. We do uh, have some sheds that we picked up that some of you know about. These are the sheds from Skinny. Uh, Dad found these checking trail cameras on January 27th. And then same thing, he found this nice four point side uh, from one of the eight pointers out here. Checking cameras again a couple weeks later. Wow. He is really putting on a show for us. He's only 30 yards. So, gonna be a fun day. Have some family come in, some friends. See how many people we can get involved in and see what we can pick up, actually. We're trying to pick up some antlers. So let's go. Officially scored at 219 and 7 eighths without the inside spread. Um, figured about 16 inches, so he's almost 236. Should be one of the biggest deer found in the state this year, and definitely the biggest. And there's going to be a full video on this somewhere. Yeah, where can we find that? Uh, tagged Outdoors on YouTube. Awesome. Oh my goodness. <laughs> 28 scoreable points. That is just crazy. Heck of a rub line right here. Those are some big trees. Well, putting on the miles. Um, nothing yet, but we're just getting the good stuff, so. That's right. Here's the, hopefully picking up what we're looking for. Definitely a huge benefit walking property when there's still a bit of snow like this. There are quite a few beds right through here. And this is a, a general area that I know the deer bed. This is really good for me to know because right over here, can see how it opens up over there that's a field edge a lot of times I come just inside the field through that corner to access quite a bit of the property so it's really really beneficial to know that there might be quite a few deer bedding right in this area you know just 150 200 yards from where I'm accessing First one of the day as they lay here. It's a nine, it's a nine pointer with the with the small sticker on the G2. Woo! We we walked a ways. Yeah, we know we know that deer well. Alright, here's number three. 
the all of these have been within 75 yards of each other right off this field it's been a really good uh, last couple minutes here we finally got into where they were as you can tell it's noon young buck. It's turned out to be a pretty good day. The buck that I shot uh, two years ago in 2020, this is where he was bedded. That's just uh, up against this huge tree here. And he's looking right at the field. And he's got the thick cover behind him where he can escape. But that bed right there looks, looks good size. Well-known buck bed. Oh boy, what are we going to pull out of here? Can I get a picture before you pull it up? Yep. Yeah, so as, as they lay. <laughs> yeah, I don't think it's long enough. No, I don't think so either. I just seen the, I seen the mass and it looked like he Probably that three and a half. That's what I'm. Yeah. Oh, yep. That's exactly which one it is. Oh. That's that one you and Johnny seen that night. Heck yeah. Beautiful deer. Cool looking shed. Yeah, he's, he's going to be a nice deer. Yes, he is. Sweet. Number four. Yeah, no, they're the right ones. They're just not the, not the biggest one, but. Well, so now all four of them have been basically within a hundred yard diameter. Yeah. He went point to point. Yeah, no kidding. Cool. Well, let's keep looking. These might be the biggest sheds that I ever hold. It's just crazy. These were found, what, 15 miles from here? Yeah. 15-ish miles from here. Did you really try and make it look big? <laughs> just found the Big Ten. That's as it lays. <laughs> this is incredible. Let's pick it up. All right. <laughs> Massive goal for this spring was to find both sides to skinny and both sides to the Big Ten. We walked by here we walked along the edge of this field earlier today five of us we walked within 15 yards of this shed and all the other sheds that we found today were back in here in about a hundred yard radius and so everybody else left for the day and i had some camera work to do and i just i just happened to walk out here i just i i I wasn't settled on the fact that this shed wasn't in here because all the deer have been concentrated going towards this point and my goodness here it is. 
just awesome. So awesome to find this. Twenty twenty two is off to an amazing start. Here's what we got so far. What do we have here? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight so far. But the big thing is we found the match set to skinny, which is one of the biggest deer that we have, and this deer should be could be a giant this year and then to cap off the day today I just found the Big Ten so these three antlers right here were the major ones that we wanted to find still got to try and find the left side of this guy but just an awesome day could not be happier this is the first day that we came out and tried to find antlers we we're blessed with a cloudy day today definitely helps out being able to spot them and man this this story is is getting good it's going to be so much fun hunting these two deer this year fingers crossed please uh like subscribe follow along because there's going to be a lot of content coming on these two deer and realistically they should both be Boone and Crockett deer. If you're already following along, if you're already subscribed to the channel, I want to thank you. Uh, this journey is, is so much fun and I just love being able to uh, share it with everyone. So thank you. <laughs> <laughs>